program to get myself out there. I'm gonna be, you know, a senior. I, I gotta start like putting my name out there and getting people to know me, so that I'll have, you know, employment opportunities after I after I graduate. And that's that's exactly what happened. I applied and I got in, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. But I mean, everything about the internship was fantastic. I mean, I always say this, but the one thing that I always say to everybody is just the people. The people here are all. I, I haven't met one person here who is rude or or treats interns badly or like there's no like stigma around here that might be at other places that interns are just interns and they're not of value or of worth. Everybody here treats interns like their family and that was one of the most comforting things for me going in because I was a much more reserved individual before I got here. I wasn't very talkative, I kind of kept to myself, but people made it easy to kind of come out of my shell here and ask questions and be proactive and show them what I could do and how I could be helpful. I, I didn't face too many challenges personally. A big part of my internship was the mock session. And as I said before, we had to move to an online format. Um, so going through kind of the, we had started our process in person and we had everything set up as if we were going to be here for that entire program. And then having to switch it over halfway through was definitely the biggest challenge because it required a lot more different types of communication, a lot more staying on top of people. It wasn't easy to just pop over to somebody's office and say, you know, are you coming to this meeting later? It was a lot harder to set up meetings because everybody had vastly different schedules. And there was so much uncertainty at the time that we didn't really know. Um, that was definitely the biggest challenge for me personally, um, but it ended up being such a big success. And I, I was so proud of everybody that worked on that project because it, it got so much, so much positivity surrounding it when we actually did it. I definitely learned a lot. Um, I knew virtually nothing about how state government worked. I knew virtually nothing about how politics in the state of Connecticut works. I came out knowing a lot of the ins and outs of what goes into policy making in the state, of what goes into um, decisions that executive agencies make, um, how staff functions. I had never been in this type of working environment before. It was a really brand new experience for me. From an office point of view, I'd only been in a very small part-time position before, so it was it was a much different experience. I mean, the part that was easy was that everybody was so friendly. So everybody wanted to know who you were. You know, you could easily make yourself known. You got to know people. It was definitely an adjustment for me personally because I'd never been in that type of environment. But I learned a lot about everything in this building, and I I feel much more confident coming to the building every day now. Uh, than I was back then, but I slowly grew that confidence being in such a positive environment. Apply. <laughs> Apply, because this was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. It's not, I mean, some, you know, it depends what you're, what you're matched up with, but there's opportunities for you to do whatever you want to do here. People will kind of gravitate, they will ask you what your interests are. What are you interested in? What do you want to do after your internship? What do you want for your career? and they will point you in the direction that will best help you. There's always somewhere that you can go, either in this building or in the, the executive branch or the judicial branch, and can help you get put in the right places and give you the right connections to move forward in that.